from Seattle, Washington, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Imagine. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown Seattle at AWS Imagine EDU. It's a brand new show. Actually, this is the second year. We were here last year too. Really, it's part of public sector um, and really addressing education. And education is K through 12, it's higher education, it's community college, it's that and so much more. And we're really excited to have our next guest. The company's been in this space for a long time, but really driving a lot of digital transformation internally as well as with our customers. And we have Andrew Gilfillan. He is the VP of Product Management for Pearson. Andrew, great to see you. Great to be here, thanks for having me. All right, so give us the kind of the quick overview for, on Pearson for people that aren't familiar with the company. Sure, uh, so Pearson's a global education company operating in 70 countries around the world, and our mission is really to help people progress their lives through learning. Now things are changing up, changing up a little bit. You're here, you had a big announcement uh, earlier today during the keynote yes. about a new product called uh, Revel, Pearson Revel. Pearson Revel's been around for a little while, so give us kind That's of right. the background and then what's changed now. Right, so uh, Revel first launched in 2014, so it's now been around for uh, a little more than five years. Uh, and really it's at the forefront of our transformation to digital course materials. Uh, Revel's intended to replace the traditional textbook and give students the opportunity to have a fully digital interactive learning experience uh, where they can read, practice, study anywhere, anytime. So is it basically an app that integrates all the different types of material that they're going to use in their kind of day-to-day -day interaction, yep. engagement with that class? Yes, yeah, so um, it incorporates all of their course materials, um, so their readings, their assignments, uh, they can access it through their computer or through a mobile app, um, which, is, which is great because it enables them to learn um, anywhere. We know that students are on the go, lots of priorities, uh, they're squeezing in their course, uh, you know, their coursework while they're juggling jobs, families, activities, everything else, so. It's pretty interesting, because you talk about it being pretty mobile heavy, mobile centric, because yep. that's one of the, the big attributes of mobile, right? We check our phones when we're in line at the grocery store and you get a couple minutes here, right. you get a couple minutes here, yep. as opposed to when you used to sit down at the computer and have kind of dedicated right. attention span. So you're seeing that on the education side with the kids and the way they actually engage with their with their curriculum. Absolutely, I mean, we have to meet students where they are. Um, we have to bring learning to them so they can learn on their terms. And is it work out? I mean, old school people like me are like, come on, you guys got you to sit down and concentrate for 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a particular topic. But yeah, you find it works for them? It, it does, and, and actually what we know from research is that students actually learn better when the material is broken down into smaller chunks. Um, and so Revel is able to break the material down into smaller pieces and really optimize the, the learning, um, provide immediate feedback for them, and students can kind of stop, pick up where they left off later down the road, uh, you know, if, if they were studying during a break at their job right now, and they're going to pick back up when they get home, they can do that. Interesting. Okay, so now what does Alexa have to do with this? What's the, uh, yeah. what is the opportunity? How did this come about in the first place? And then sure. what did you guys do? Yeah, so we're super excited to be able to partner with Amazon. Um, again, our goal is to really make learning more engaging and more convenient for more learners. And the partnership with Amazon to bring the Revel skill for Alexa is another step in that direction. Uh, so Alexa really enables students to um, engage in their learning on their own terms. Um, we had one student uh, who tested this skill for us while it was in development, who was juggling a family, taking a full course load, and had a full-time job. And she used Alexa to listen to her reading while she was preparing meals for her, for her family. Um, and it was a great way to um, really show that Alexa made possible her to fit her coursework in when she had time to do it. So it's really just connecting her Alexa device at home into her her uh, her Revel account. Yeah. So the the you link your Revel account with your uh, with your Alexa uh, with your Amazon Alexa account, and it allows you to stay up to date on when your assignments are due. It allows you to listen to the text. Um, you can change devices and pick up where you left off on a new device in a different location at a different time. So how many different kind of actions um, will it do? Um, so it, there are a number of commands. It's really focused on uh, audio playback, on understanding when your assignments are due, um, being able to play sort of you know what you what the current assignment is, um, or to know when the next assignment is due. Right. Um, so it's still 
really focused on sort of the key activities that a student's going to participate in um, when they're engaging with their with their Revel product. Okay, and do you see does does it open up your product manager? You know, kind of a whole new host of of potential capabilities using voice as an interface versus yeah, text or, yeah. or so, a keyboard? So, I mean, we know that students are mobile. We know that the sort of current generation of students, what we call the iGens, grew up in a world where internet's always been a thing. And so we really want to take advantage of all of the tools that are out there to deliver more engaging experiences, right? And, and to really be able to reach more learners um, in really positive ways. Right, and then you, who's your customer? Is your customer usually like the school, the the, the school entity? So uh, that's a great question. Uh, so historically, our customer really was the the student is the end user. The educator ultimately chose what. Uh, what they used or what the, they expected the student to use. Increasingly, Pearson's um, transforming and really looking at institutions as customers as well. And so we have tiers of customers. It's, it's the institution, it's uh, the educator, and it's the student. And we have to meet the needs of all three of those things. Um, one of the great things about Revel is, not only do we believe that it drives better outcomes for the student, but it allows us to um, deliver a better product at a more affordable price. Right. And do you find that the that the engagement with the application, because it's still basically the same application under the cover, significantly is significantly different with a voice interaction? Or I don't know if you have enough data yet to, yeah, to I, make I, an assertion, so, but I'm so just I think curious. It's, I, th I think it's too early to tell. Um, I mean, certainly we're optimistic about the promise of, of voice right. um, being a part of the experience. It's not going to be the whole experience, but it will be an important part of the experience, and it will really enable more flexibility for students to use the tool in a variety of ways. It's just interesting to me with the whole voice yeah. thing, that, that you get emails, old people like us get emails telling you what you should ask your voice. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, you should ask Alexa, hey, have you thought about right. asking Alexa something more than just turn on the radio right. or what's the weather right. it's, tell me a joke. You know, it's it's amazing. I think when, when you watch students interact with these tools, um, it's so natural and so intuitive for them. Um, they've grown up with mobile devices. They've grown up with the internet. They've grown up sort of with a new paradigm. And they expect that their learning experiences are going to um, adapt in those ways, in, in sort of the ways that they're adapting. Right. So. Last question here, we're here at uh, AWS Imagine. Um, obviously, Teresa's super passionate about this area. Uh, Andrew's super passionate yes. about this area. What's it meant for you guys? How, how has Amazon been, uh, or AWS as a partner? Yep. Um, you know, still kind of early days for them in, in this type of area, but clearly there's a lot of resources being put behind yes. it. Yes, um, so Amazon's been a great partner, and uh, Alexa, is the Revel skill for Alexa is sort of our new launch, um, but we've partnered with Amazon um, and, and used Amazon Web Services, underpinning a lot of, uh, a lot of our product experiences, including Revel. Um, so they've been a great partner, and, and I think this is an example of just extending that one more step, and, and we look forward to being able to, you know, look even further to see how we can work together to improve learning for students. I love it, 200 year old company using voice. That's right. <laughs> All right, Andrew, well thanks for uh, for taking a few minutes out of your sure. day, and uh, congratulations, and look forward to, uh, to watching it progress as Great. you get more data coming out of that thing. Yeah, thank you. All right, he's Andrew, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at AWS Imagine in downtown Seattle. Thanks for watching.